Hey, what's up? Welcome back. I want to start off this conversation by saying expectations are the thief of joy. Why I said this, you'll get it in a moment. Today, we are going to look at a laptop which has got a 6 core 12 threaded CPU, has an expandable memory, has these sweet little ribbon connectors, and a mounting bracket to pop in an extra hard drive or a SATA SSD in case you need for an expansion. We are talking about the Acer Aspire 5. A51545 is the model number what we are looking at. This is a good laptop. This laptop is powered by the AMD's 5000 series, comes with 6 core 12 threaded CPU, has a base clock frequency of 2.1 GHz and can turbo up to 4 GHz and that is really really massive in my opinion. If you are interested in buying the same laptop, links are in the description. Please do go ahead, check them as well. Let's just get into the design and the build quality of this laptop. For the build quality, on the top we have the aluminium finish, the bottom half is made out of plastic and that's a kind of annoying for me because I was expecting the whole laptop to be of aluminium. If that was the case, I would have loved this laptop. Again, expectations are the, yes, you got me right. Overall, the quality is good but it would have been better if it had an aluminium finish on the bottom half as well. Let's just get into the design of this. This is a massive 15.6 inch laptop, has the same 15.6 inch screen, made out of plastic at the bottom and aluminium at the top. Here, the bezels look thin on the sides, but on the top and the chin, they are not so thin. Following, the laptop has a thin design, and the weight of laptop is also around 1.76 kgs which makes it a lightweight laptop as well. Again, the hinge here is 180 degrees rotatable. Let's just talk about the keyboard on this. For the keyboard, you have the full-fledged complete keyboard including the numpad as well. The typing experience was really good on this. I was not mistyping any of the letters or any of the keys. This is again a backlit keyboard. Like the Lenovo laptops, this do not have the brightness increase and decrease mode there is only one constant brightness and that is truly fine right let's just move a little bit downwards and take a look at the trackpad over here the trackpad is a little bit smaller in my opinion it would have been better if they would have given a larger track you know what leave this all up we'll go to the main part and that is the specifications of this laptop and which has attracted me the most this bad boy is powered with an amd ryzen 5 5500U. This is a massive 6 core 12 threaded CPU, base clock at 2.1 and can turbo up to 4 GHz and it is really insanely fast. Comes with an 8 GB onboard RAM, can be expandable up to 24 GB using a single RAM. And the RAM here is clocked at 3200 MHz which makes it insanely insanely fast again these two are paired with an ultra fast nvme m.2 ssd which is 512 gb wakes up in like just 10 seconds or so remember the things that were included in the box that ribbon connector and the mounting bracket here it is used to expand the storage up to 2 tb you can put in a 2.5 inch sata hard drive or a 2.5 inch sata ssd oh wait did you get excited i told you expectations are the thief of joy now this is the part where the thief of joy comes the graphics card here is not a discrete one and it is integrated and has just a 512 of vram as well that is a kind of annoying for me the processor is much more capable it has a massive 6 core and 12 threads guys but the gpu is not at all supporting for that so that's a kind of disappointing for me this is so much so powerful laptop but unfortunately we cannot game on this after listening to such a massive configuration let us just get into the real world performance when it comes to performance it is very close to an high-end laptop with some insanely fast processor faster storage and even faster RAM. There is no thermal limitations for this bad boy. I did run Cinebench R20 score on this. On the battery, its performance is remarkable with the CPU staying at 100% all the time with the clocks reaching up to 2.8 GHz and staying up there for a longer time. And we did get a score of 245 and that is really, really awesome. Further, I connected it to the charger 
and then the clocks were reaching up 2.82 gigahertz and the final score was around 2459 which is not too much difference in my opinion which means even if you are rendering then it is going to be at the 100% peak performance what the laptop is giving with the charger or without the charger that is a good thing the Acer has done over here even during my testing procedures this clock speed was reaching around 3.8 gigahertz and that's way too much for a laptop so much thin and light the performance here gets at least 10 on 10 because that's what matter for me in a machine like this now let's just talk about the connectivity and ports on this for the connectivity we have the wi-fi 6 really good appreciate it and bluetooth 5.0 obvious Next, for the ports we have on the left side, the first one is the charging port which is followed by a LAN port. This LAN port is a gigabit LAN port which is followed by two USB 3.0 ports. Good. Now, this is followed by a Type-C port. Now, Type-C is what I was looking forward to. Since this does not have a uh, discrete graphics card, if, if it had a Thunderbolt port over here, I would have connected an external GPU for this and ran heavy games on this. So that was expectations are the thief of joy. So that I was expecting but it turns out only to be an USB. Since this is an AMD based laptop, we cannot get a Thunderbolt port and that's for sure. And on the right side, we do not have much to see. The, just the Kessington lock which is followed by a USB 2.0 port and which is followed by a headphone and audio combi jack. Let's just talk about the display on this. It has a 15.6 inch display which is full HD 1920 by 1080 comes with an IPS panel. The max brightness reaches around 300 nits. Color accurate. The blacks look really black. Just the screen I need on the laptop and this one has it all which makes it a great one for editing photos editing videos and doing some heavy work as well as the cpu is very much capable let's just see about the battery now speaking about the battery we have 48 watt hours of battery acer claims it to be of 13 hours of battery life but trust me it's not gonna last for more than seven hours of usage to juice this all up we have the 45 watt charger which is not a super fast charger but from 0 to 60 we can go in 49 minutes and that is not bad at least okay now let me just come on to my conclusion so this laptop is made for those power hungry processor intensive and heavy workload users who are 9 out of 10 times the techies and it, this laptop is just made for them if you are a student of cs that is computer science engineering i would highly recommend you to go with this laptop as it is really future proof and it is the better one for you now wrapping it all up thumbs if you liked it subs if you loved it we'll catch you in the next one until then take care